Hello and Happy New Year! I want to share some update on RASI FI NOG detection. We're going to start with the testing procedure, we're going to go over the hardware we're using, and then I'll share some amazing results. How all this works? We have a Mazda Niata test mule, we have Saab 93 2005 COPs, we have a Saab 93 2005 piece of harness between the COPs and the CDM module, combustion, combustion detection module. This one takes the ion sense signal from those individual COPs, does the whatever magic process and then produces the blue knock output signal for the ECU and the green less magic uh, combustion detection signal for the ECU as well. This is the kind of Saab with this technology. What's especially convenient about this generation, this is the last generation 9.3, the second generation 9.3, is that they use individual COPs and they use a separate CDM module. Nobody else is using a separate CDM module. Prior to all this, Saab used an integrated cassette. I don't have one here. What's inconvenient about the cassette, it's one unit. You can only insert it pretty much on a Saab engine. The spacing between cylinders and all that has to be like a Saab. With the COPs, you have much more creative freedom. How this all works on a Miata. We take a spark plug with a removable bullet terminal. Some spark plugs don't allow you to remove the bullet terminal. Some spark plugs do allow. We take that spark plug with the bullet terminal removed. We take a Ferrari Testarossa spark plug extension. Extender. Put the extender on the spark plug. Then we use a sub COP uh, with some of the rubber removed so that it fits into the Miata engine. This is how the Saab COP looks originally without the rubber removed. This is the thing I will try later. This is a Mazda COP from 2012, Skyactiv. Skyactiv seems to be using Ion Sense. This is a bit longer and a bit narrower. I have a feeling it might fit on the Miata Spark in the Miata engine as is, but I haven't tried hooking all this up yet. That's in the later episode. If you want to support all this, there's a Patreon and the link is below. So we are going to induce knock on the NB2 Miata by increasing timing uh, anywhere from 2000 RPM to 4000 RPM to 40 degrees fixed, which is not a healthy condition and the engine should be pinging and we'll start rolling now. And you can hear the knock, it sounds like clattering. Still knocking, still knocking, still knocking. And that's what it sounds like. We have four uh, signals on the oscilloscope. Red magenta is um, trigger coil one. This is the ECU signal to fire spark number one. The green one is combustion detection output. The same wire from the CDM module shows signals for cylinders one and three. This is how Saab designed it. The blue one is actually the knock output signal from the CDM into the ECU. We will learn that this is a digital signal telling the ECU that there is knocking. As you see, normal high level is 4 volts. Once in a while we'll have those drops to below 1 volt, even while idling under normal conditions with normal timing. Maybe that's because it's a Mazda Miata, this is slightly unexpected. Then probably the last signal here, the yellow one, is actually the raw ion sense output signal from coil number one. Again, this is the wire between the coil and Saab CDM module. This is what CDM module uses to analyze all this and to produce the green output signal and the blue output signal. We're now knocking. As you see, there's a lot of that blue digital signal. Those events are just... Looks like the amount of those, the number of those events is proportional to the amount of your knocking. Perfect. The digital signal is very visible. What happens on the analog, we have no clue. We're going to induce knock now while parked. You can hear the engine knocking now. Best picture. 
picture quality so far. the casualty of today this fan was knocked out but luckily there's a spare part if you want to donate money maybe I have a patreon maybe not who knows